gonna do this fantastic, heartwarming carrot soup. You roast the carrots, some oranges, it's delicious. I make it all year round and I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So, you need to start off with some carrots. Bit of peeling action to happen. So you just wanna peel all your carrots. If you've got a good speed peeler, now's the time to use it. I bet they're competition somewhere. How fast can you peel a carrot? Ready, steady, go. You make a mess if you to be peeling it too fast. Yes. Rachel, the messy chef. rid of these. Just going to remove the top bit of the carrot. Okay, so carrots are peeled, they've been topped and now I'm just going to dress them with some olive oil. salt and finally some cumin really aromatic spice it's that smell of the Middle East for me it's uh, warm no a little bit spicy spicy hot a bit of heat a bit of warmth it's the kind of thing you want in a soup. And another teaspoon, so about two teaspoons. You can be quite generous because it should be quite spicy. You're mixing the carrots, they're gonna go with the oranges and then some stock. So you want to really flavor your carrots well. So just making sure all the carrots are coated in the spices and the oil. And they're going to go in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. A nice hot roasting oven. And now for my oranges. Oh, I almost forgot. Two cloves of garlic. Just bung that, bung that in the tray. Even I forget things too often actually. All right, I need six oranges, which I'm gonna juice. Last orange. So I'm going to put my juice in my pot. So all the orange juice minus a pip or two goes in. And I'm just going to reduce it a little bit. juice has reduced about half. You can see there's a line around the pot where it's reduced. To that I'm going to add my vegetable stock. You could use chicken stock. And let's check on the carrots. They're certainly smelling roasted. Yes, they're looking roasted. Turn them off. Okay, so carrots. Just add the carrots to the stock. So all that lovely roasted flavours. 
that all end up in there. So I'm just going to turn this off while I blend this. I've got the stick blender and I'm just going to blend the carrots. Oh, it helps if I turn it on first. <laughs> oh, I'm a mistake. Ah. Oh, you have to be a little bit careful not to get it all splashed over you. Okay, that looks pretty smooth. Whee! Got there in the end. If you've got a food blender, just whack it in there. It's easier. Okay. Let's have a taste. It hasn't got any seasoning yet, apart from that, from the carrots. So, but it's already got that lovely, rich, smooth consistency. Needs a little bit of salt. Some salt. This is where you can basically do it to your taste. I'm not going to tell you how to season your soup. Everybody knows best. So that is your basic carrot and orange soup done with a lovely hint of cumin. You could eat it like this, delicious. I'm going to make a parsley ricotta, just a dollop on top, which is very easy. It just means chopping up some parsley and mixing that with some ricotta. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for the moment. I'm just going to go and get some parsley. I've got lots of parsley, don't need it. Just want to chop it up, so bunch all your parsley up, so I've got a handful here. And then, let's run your knife through it. Okay, parsley done. Put that in the ricotta. A little bit of salt. Give it a stir. And that's the parsley ricotta. Okay. Well, actually, this is what I do. I make a massive pot and then I just freeze at least, what, well, freeze like into four portions. So one portion I keep in the fridge and the other three I freeze in separate portions, which means I've always got some homemade soup in the freezer. Fantastic color. Now, if you find the soup's a little bit too thick, just add a bit more stock. But I quite like this kind of really rich, thick soup. Then you just want to dollop on some ricotta. That adds that creaminess. Some people add a little bit of cream to their soup. I'm keeping it separate, which means, you know, people can decide how much ricotta they want on top. Nice dollop. And then just a couple A super soup. Mmm, I wish you could smell it. It just smells so delicious. That cumin, a bit of orange, carrot, it's such a classic combination. And then a creamy dollop of ricotta. Perfect bowl of goodness. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept up to date with all the new recipes. And don't forget to like it.